welcome to Preeti's Kitchen. Today let's make vegan almond yogurt which is dairy free, gluten free, delicious and it doesn't even need a starter. So let's get started. The first thing we do is we soak our almonds in water overnight. Overnight is always preferred because then they are soaked very well to blend them in the morning. After soaking, remove the skin which I have already done. The skin has tannin which uh, if not removed will uh, uh, not help in uh, absorption of nutrients. So it should always be soaked and peel should always be removed. So now I'm going to blend this. So I'm going to add the soaked almonds. I will add one cup of hot water. When you're blending, add the water gradually so that you don't get a very thin yogurt. So water quantity can be adjusted accordingly. You can add more or less. I'm adding almost a cup, but I'll do it gradually. As you can see, it is still thick. I will blend it for some more minutes. Check the consistency, it should be really smooth. Keeping a minute more. And I'll add a little bit more water. You can always add the water later also when you take it out in a bowl to set the yogurt. This looks good. I'm going to remove this. So I've taken the paste out in a pan. We'll keep the heat to uh, really low because we don't want the paste to uh, burn or get stuck on the surface and if you think your paste is very thick you can add water I'm keeping the paste this thick because I want a thicker curd it's up to you the amount of water that you like to add it's a very easy recipe and it's doable for any of the nuts that you need you can do it with peanuts the same process even with cashew nuts the same process you can also make coconut yogurt uh, with coconut yogurt, you have to uh, process the coconut milk at home. Do not buy the coconut milk from the supermarket. Uh, the yogurt will not get set with it. With that, well, and also use just the first press of the coconut milk, which is thicker. The second press is always thinner. To make coconut milk, it's very easy. You just grate the coconut and put hot water in a blender. Then strain the coconut till you get all its milk out. So that's the first press, you always get a thicker milk and then warm it the way I am warming it on a low heat. We warm this to remove or kill the bacteria if there are any. You don't have to cook it, just warm our uh, paste. So the same process when you're making peanut yogurt, when you're making cashew yogurt. And this is okay. I'm switching off the flame. So transfer to your bowl in which it is going to set. We'll let the mixture get a little cool down. Then you take chilies like that. You can take red or green, whatever is available. And remove the, the tip of it, the stalk. Okay, you place the stalk like that. Just let it immerse in uh, the yogurt paste. Do the same with the others. make a slit in the chili something like this and let it submerge in the paste with the stalks that's my third chili that I'm doing just a slight cut and just leave it there so in this way you don't need a starter the stalk of the chilies usually have bacteria which help in the fermentation of the yogurt so when you don't have a starter this is a very good way to uh, create a homemade yogurt even if you can you can also do it with your dairy milk uh, the regular milk that you take if you don't have a starter you can set your yogurt like this now keep this bowl covered uh, in a warm place in your kitchen whatever is a warm place I usually keep it in my oven uh, I have just finished baking so I will keep it in that hot oven for some time it takes about 12 to 14 hours to set uh, completely in case you think it is still runny and you don't see bubbles on the top, bubbles will show the fermentation. 
In case you don't see it, then let it be there in the oven for another 10 to 12 hours. Usually it sets in 12 hours, mine did last time. So we'll, I'll let you know when it sets in the morning. So the yogurt has been staying in the uh, warm place for almost uh, 24 hours and uh, you can see it has fermented well. It didn't ferment in 14 hours so I let it be there for another 10 hours. Uh, it has turned a little uh, sour, I tasted it. I've removed the chilies and the stalks from it. You could do the same. As I said, uh, you can make this with any of the nuts. You can use peanuts, you can use uh, uh, almonds, you can use uh, cashews, you can use even sesame seeds. Uh, for coconut yogurt, you can use coconut milk. Uh, I already told you how to do it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, share and subscribe. And thank you for watching.